This is Dr. Tom Bernanke and we're going over the dark side of health TikTok foot videos and we're starting now. This first video is bunion surgery before and after. So that's a big bunion on the right foot. Look at those hammer toes. That's a corn that develops on those knuckles, especially on that third toe. Oh boy, that's a tough foot right there. And I could tell that's a lot of callus tissue that's been broken down. Looks like they might've had a surgery over the big toe in the past right there. Oh wow, that's a great way to do it. A before and after photo. That is minimally invasive surgery. This is the future. I love this. And I actually met Dr. Wagner. This guy is excellent. He does the minimally invasive foot and ankle surgery type videos. I love doing these. This guy does great. I think he's down in Florida. If you're in Florida, check out Dr. Wagner. He's the man. This is toe shortening surgery. That's a long second toe. Shifting's a little shifting. to the I would say that's not the second toe that's necessarily long. It's really the third, fourth, and fifth toe that don't seem very long. So this guy calls himself the Bunyan King. He's actually great. He's from New York City. I've met him in the past. He does a great job. They're putting some betadine on there. That's a nice sterilizing solution. And it looks like he's doing it in a minimally invasive style potentially. Oh yeah, that's a lot of betadine on there. He's getting it nice and clean. I always make sure to do a couple coats of this. You don't wanna miss any bacteria under the skin that can get in the bone when you're doing surgery. So he's doing an unbelievable job. Really focusing on that cleaning there. I don't know if this is gonna really show surgery here. That is minimally invasive surgery. Wow, great surgery. That patient will be able to recover pretty quickly. Great procedure. That's Dr. Neil Blitz. He's in New York City, does an A plus job. This third and fourth video is skin prep for surgery. He's cleaning that really well. That is iodine or betadine solution. He's getting in there. That's gonna kill any bacteria, any fungus, any germs in there because you do not want that getting into any type of incision site. That's the number one most dangerous thing. So Dr. Neil Blitz, this guy is great. He's out of New York City. He's got great branding. He calls himself the Bunyan King. He's in New York City, but he's legit. He trained a lot of great foot surgeons. I really appreciate all the great work that Dr. Blitz is doing. And it takes a lot of courage to show these surgeries real time in there, you know, because not everything goes perfectly in every surgery, even though 99% of the time that goes well. So you have to be really good to be able to put these videos out there. So it looks like he's got an assistant or a resident helping him. This fifth video is called Bunion Relief Tips. Let's take a look. I'm interested here. So that's a great exercise. I could tell you, even though it's a catchy song, that does strengthen your tendons. But if you've got a stiff hip, stiff knee, unequalness between your hips and knees, that will not do the trick. These don't work. This sixth video is called a bunion toe brace. Let's take a look here. I could already tell you these. These braces temporarily stretch you, but the toe will not get fixed. Just practicing being normal. I could tell you right now, thumbs down on the brace. I have a whole video going into the details and biomechanics on this. They feel good while you're wearing them, but it won't straighten out your leg and it won't straighten out your big toe. This seventh video is a guy reviewing a bunny and toe brace. Let's check this one out. These temporarily stretch, but they won't compensate for standing all day. They won't compensate for walking 10,000 steps a day for putting on weight, for having tight hamstrings, for tight glutes. I was kind of thinking like, you know what? This doesn't really feel like it's working, but I kept at it. You know, I tried it, wore it for a whole day one day. That was not fun at all. So I started looking up other solutions. Those didn't work either. But then I looked up the surgery and that terrified me because uh, they literally cut your bone in half. So it looked like it would hurt. But then a doctor actually offered a free surgery to me, which was really nice, really cool. So I had to think, hmm. Do I get this surgery? I mean, my toe is crooked, but I don't have any pain. <clears throat> and here it is. 
wait, let me show you the right. But when you can't even see it, it's hiding. It's literally hiding. You, there it is. I've had no pain ever since, you know, making the videos. Perfect. You know what? That's the thing. The braces, they feel good while you're wearing them, but it doesn't leave permanent stretching. Once you take that brace off, there's no benefit. This is a big toe callus shave. So this is how I do it. That's a number 10 blade. It should be nice and easy. Like literally takes like two, three seconds to get rid of that callus. And then you just shave it nice and smooth with a type of Dremel or smoothing device. Nice and safe. You look great almost immediately. This ninth video is called an extreme callus shave. Ah, oh, man, this is terrible. She's using a cheese grater. Her skin is cracked. Number one, if it's this bad, how can you take her advice? You really have to do a lot of things incorrectly to get a foot in this bad of a shape. Kind of like if a homeless guy came up to you and tried to give you money advice, you could be like, hey, you know, maybe you're not the best person to be taking financial advice from. If somebody has a foot this bad, is this the person you really wanna be getting your foot advice? If you are diabetic, if you have health issues, or if your foot has gotten this bad, you will seriously injure yourself doing these techniques. Don't use a cheese grater. Don't use a sharp clipper like that. Let's go to the end. The only good advice here is the moisturizing agent, but even this tool, there is a good chance the skin could rip off there, that you're raw, that you're bleeding at work, you're just gonna suffer. Thumbs down, this is terrible and dangerous advice. I don't think this person believes this. They just did this for the clicks, guaranteed. This 10th video's an interesting medical callus remover. Let's take a look. Wow, that is an insane callus. They're doing actually doing a great job. I would do the same thing. You start with something really sharp because you don't know if there's a wound or a sharp object or a needle under there when it's that bad. You wanna go nice and gentle. That is interesting that somebody let their foot get this bad. We see it all the time too, but it's people in really bad social circumstances, like somebody neglected at a home or a residency where the kids couldn't get to them. But that is very satisfying. I'll tell you, when I do these, you feel so good. These people go from not being able to walk to basically being able to jog and they can't thank you enough. This is one of the best parts of being a foot doctor. This 11th one's called a minor foot callus removal. So they're using a number 10 blade. They're doing a great job getting rid of that callus. That's exactly how I would do it. Should take two, three seconds. That's nice and easy. Let's zoom to the end here. There we go, it's going. It's gone, that's a nice looking removal. This 12th video is a callus removal. Somebody commented, I used to chew mine off. Don't chew it off. That's when you come see your podiatrist. This 13th video is an at home callus removal. So the top comment is, don't go too far. I effed up my foot with this. That's probably what's gonna happen. Get yourself a pumice stone and just moisturize it ahead of time. Thumbs down. This is a terrible tool. Do not use this tool. This 14th video is a full at home foot clipping. Oh, this is the same lady. Oh boy. This is a terrible foot. I think she just lets her foot get as bad as possible and uses the most dangerous tools possible. Boo. <laughs> but it's kind of grown on me. I can see why people watch this and why she gets so many views. This 15th video is a drill shaving a callus. I'm interested to see this. Yes, that is a rotary burr. I have ones just like this. It basically cleans it up. It's relatively safe. It sucks up that powder. This is a great job to do it. This is exactly what I do in the office, A plus. And it's got replaceable tips, nice and clean. That's the way to do it. This 16th video is remedies to help corns and calluses. Let's check that one out. I love vinegar soaks. Pumice stones are good. Boom, lotion it and you can wrap it. Just be careful, 15, 20 minutes, probably too much for a wrap. This 17th one's a minor medical callus removal. All right, so callus under the big toe, it's getting shaved down. 
It's a nice number 10 blade. That's a great way to do it. That can create a pressure spot if that's not removed. So it can be dangerous. Look at that. And it takes a lot of practice to be able to do that and not cut the skin. That is a sharp blade. Boom. It is unbelievable how much better these patients feel by getting these things off there. Great job. This one's removing a bunion callus. Number 10 blade, very sharp. Get that callus off there. That's gonna feel so much better when it's done. Great job, great shaving, just like that. This 19th video is Medi Petty in New York. Those are painful. Underneath those knuckles, oh boy, this person must have been in some trouble. But they're doing a great job. Get that sharp callus off there, moisturize, smooth. That's exactly how I do it. That feels so good afterwards. Get some nice shoes, some insoles. That's where it's at. This 20th video is a painful corn. These are so deep, they're like spikes. So you got a callus with a spike getting depth in there. So not only do you shave it, I get in there with the blade, with the tip, and actually scoop that out. There's nothing more satisfying. That, oh, there we go, just like that. And you pop that out, nothing should bleed, nothing should hurt. Getting that corn out of there is honestly, it does, that's why they call it a corn. It feels like a corn was wedged underneath that cast. Look at how satisfying this is gonna be coming out. If you talk about satisfying callus videos, me as a foot doctor, getting one of those out of there, I have seen that change people's lives and they are so common. A plus. Look at that corn. That is basically scar tissue from a sweat gland. And then you just shave all around there then. Get some lotion on there. That's gonna do amazing. Look at all that bruising under there. Thank you for joining me on that journey. Some of those are dangerous. Some of those are done really well. I have guides on how to do all these. Check those down below.